Hey everyone, as a consumer user of the workbook, I can now use the axis labels. In this example, either the Y axis or the X axis or the legend labels to quickly swap columns and dynamically slice and dice the data of this bar chart. Now these columns are exposed based on a set of available columns that the author of the workbook has chosen to define for this bar chart. Let me change the state to segment on the y-axis and you can see that by quickly selecting a column, uh, my measure axis has changed to discount. Here's an example of the scatter chart where I can change the y or the x-axis measures and also play with the legend labels to swap the columns for the color attribute. Now let's go into the edit mode and look at the authoring experience for creating the column swapping experience. Let's add a new canvas and I'm gonna bring in uh, a stack bar and we'll add some grammar elements. So let's add segment to x-axis uh, and maybe shift mode to color and then sales to y-axis. On the related columns drop target, I'm gonna add additional meshes and also dimensions. I'll bring in category, product category, and maybe city and state to the related columns. The columns defined on the related columns drop target is also used for the explain visualization feature. Now, the column swapping experience is not turned on by default. You can see that uh, the labels are not clickable tokens. We've added a property to the advanced tab of the property panel called column swap. Let's turn it on. Now, when this is turned on, the axis labels now becomes clickable tokens. You can see on the y-axis of the stack bar chart, I have different meshes. The one that the author has defaulted to is sales. I can change to quantity. The experience for the consumer user is exactly the same experience as the author sees in the edit experience. Uh, any x-axis, y-axis, and legend labels can be easily swapped using the list of available columns as defined in the related columns drop target. Now, for any reasons, as an author, if you want certain columns to only be used to generate the explain visualization on a selected data point, but not available as a column for swapping, you can select on the token of the visualization and uncheck on the option use in column swapping. Now, subcategory is not available as a column for swapping either on the legend or the x-axis, but subcategory is still available as a column that influences the algorithm behind the scenes to generate the explained visualization for a given data point. Thank you for watching this video.